I've made a nice friend in Godach here. She's not afraid of the camera. And uh, here's the town square. I remember Godach was quite the wild west uh, some five years back. But nowadays, it's not that the town looks different, but there's a new supermarket and some new cafes and restaurants. And that kind of gives the place a boost. It's not bad at all. All right, I'm here in Kamenopole, which is the stone meadow, let's say. Pretty unknown part of Bulgaria again, here in the province of uh, Pleven. And, uh, well, stone meadow refers to the canyon here. As you can see, there's a lot of stone used here. And for example, this bridge and the building materials of these fences, these houses, Pretty roughed up village again. It's a poor area, truly. One of Bulgaria's poorest, like uh, often people say, Vidin is the worst. But I actually feel most desolate and remote sensations in the areas of Pleven and Montana. And Vidin is actually pretty okay for me. I've crossed the whole province. Little bridge right here, just made out of stone, piled on top of each other. Can you imagine? <laughs> just look at the craftsmanship. Can you imagine how people made this? Like, even if we tried today, could we do it like this? See, it's just remarkable. Now, because this place is so unknown, the only thing that's available on the map is that there's a river canyon here with rock formations, so that's what I'm going to check out. Really, I wish now that I could just be with someone, like uh, someone who knows the area, just a boyfriend. Because when I'm, let's say, in really remote areas, I'm afraid of dogs and, uh, I don't know, I would just like to share the experience at some point. It's not always great to travel alone, only if uh, things go well, let's say. But you need to be cautious. Well, it must be here where it starts, because there is a flag and it must mean there is some itinerary of some sorts, even though there is no uh, markings of any kind. Local people must have, well, laid out something. That's the thing with Bulgaria, you never know where you end up. See, there's a little staircase. Yeah, it's nice. So here's where it is. Had some trouble finding it, but it's working out. This is also very nicely done. Handmade little stairs. Here's where the canyon starts. Or actually not, this is just a little waterfall right here. But the canyon doesn't continue, so I need to go farther up or go around by car which will be a bit hard to find the actual starting point. So this is not it yet, but look how nice the water is. And someone must be amazing with all green uh, trees and stuff. Cool. I don't see any fish, which is strange. There's nothing. All right, now I made it here. And this is the actual canyon, the beginning. You see the river is very small and narrow down there, but at some point back in history it was rushing through these cliffs and it's carved all of these formations. There are some big caves in there which I'm sure have never been explored. And uh, quite incredible if you ask me. It's not mapped out at all, nobody knows it, but uh, it's just not a random site in Bulgaria. 
Right, so I have a big stick, walking stick here, picked up from the uh, side of the path. And here we see the bay canyons, it's all around. Pretty neat place.